Hi, my name is Matthew Rowe. I'm fire captain with the Hanford Fire Department. This is firefighter Scott Mellon. And we're here today to show you our new pet oxygen mask that we got from the MSN Foundation last month. Right here are examples of some human masks that we use for people. They connect to our oxygen tubing just the same way the pet masks will. And we use these on human beings. And in the past, trying to use masks like this on animals, they don't fit. And we had to improvise and try and get oxygen to the animal. And a lot of it would escape into the atmosphere. So through our donation from the Hanford Veterinary Hospital, we acquired these masks. And these masks are designed strictly for pets. They hook up to the same type of oxygen tubing, right up to the regulators. And you can provide supplemental oxygen to the dog the same, the same way you would a human, except the masks are designed to go over the muzzle of the animal and they get oxygen directly without that escape into the atmosphere. So if an animal gets taken out of a structure fire and has smoke inhalation and he's awake and needs supplemental oxygen, this is the way we deliver that oxygen. If we pull an animal out of a structure fire that's unconscious and needs CPR or assisted ventilations, this tab will come out and we can hook it up to what we call a bag valve mask. We take the human mask off of it and we apply the pet oxygen mask to the bag valve mask. It hooks up the same way to the same oxygen source and we can put it on the animal and if he needs assisted in ventilations, we can assist the animal in ventilations.